Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, while the White House celebrated Easter holding the traditional egg roll on the South Lawn, President Obama kept his focus on the nation's finances, working out ways to protect Americans at the pump. The President also worked closely with his Homeland Security team to respond to the violent storms in the South. That's April 22nd to the 28th, or final adjustments. On Monday, April 25th, the White House held the annual Easter egg roll, a tradition in its 133rd year. Hey. Hey. So you got promoted, huh? I did. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, wow, this is big time. It's a real honor. The event was complete with dancing, yoga, sports, and of course the traditional Easter egg roll itself, in which the president took on the role of encourager-in-chief. The first family also went to the reading station, where Sasha and Malia read Where the Wild Things Are to the crowd. And President Mrs. Obama read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, a book they used to read to their daughters. Look who's coming. It's Black Eyed Pea. See, it's Black Eyed. It's got Everybody a black, black eye. Guy. President Obama also snuck off to shoot some hoops with the kids. Yes, I gotta get up in here. Yes. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do this. All right. Oh, yeah, look at the oh. Later that afternoon, the president met with his national security team for his monthly meeting on Afghanistan and Pakistan in the Situation Room to hear about conditions on the ground from commanders in the region. On Tuesday, April 26th, President Obama conducted interviews with local television affiliates from all over the country to discuss his vision for reducing our debt while still doing all we can to reduce hardships on hardworking Americans like high gas prices. The problem is, is that we only have about 2 to 3 percent of the world's oil reserves. We use about 25 percent of the world's oil. And that's why it's so important for us to start looking at alternative energy. And one way of doing that is making sure that we're not, uh, through our tax system, giving uh, big giveaways uh, to oil companies that don't need it. The president sent a letter to congressional leaders earlier that day asking that they end $4 billion in costly subsidies to the oil and gas industry. So nice How are you? To see you. In the afternoon, the president held a bilateral meeting with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan of the United Arab Emirates in the Oval Office. The two leaders discussed the strong ties between the United States and the UAE and our common strategic interests in the Middle East. On Wednesday, April 27th, the President and First Lady went to their hometown Chicago to drop in on Harpo Studios to tape the Oprah Winfrey Show. After 25 years on the air, Oprah Winfrey is preparing to end her show this yeah. season. Well, Let's try to finish off well. Yes, yes. Well, finish this, strong. this certainly finish helps, Mr. President. <laughs> we are living in a very serious time, and, and America has huge potential and opportunity to seize the 21st century. We're only going to get there, though, if we have a serious conversation about the things that matter to people. Yeah. Jobs and gas prices and how do we bring down the deficit and how do we deal with all the changes going around the world. And we can't be distracted by sideshows and, as I said at my press conference, uh, carnival barkers who are going around uh, trying to get attention. On Thursday morning, April 28th, President Obama telephoned DHS Secretary Janet Napolitano and FEMA Administrator Craig Fugate to discuss the need for a rapid federal response to the deadly storms across the South. Later that afternoon, President Obama met with Latino leaders to discuss a myriad of issues affecting the Latino American community, like strengthening the economy and immigration reform. The president also announced some personnel changes to his national security team, naming current CIA Director Leon Panetta as Secretary of Defense to replace Robert Gates, and General David Petraeus to become the new CIA Director. Given the pivotal period that we're entering, I felt that it was absolutely critical that we had this team in place so that we can stay focused on our missions, maintain our momentum, and keep our nation secure. The president also welcomed Panamanian President Ricardo Martinelli to the White House. Among other key bilateral and regional issues, the presidents discussed the next steps of the U.S.-Panama Trade Promotion Agreement, as well as progress on the Citizen Security Partnership that President Obama announced during his recent trip to Latin America. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. Okay, now, uh, as you'll see, this is uh, the little booklet, the little itinerary that we prepare for every trip. Uh, normally, they're harmless. Apparently, Mr. Campbell here was in charge and put the Cubs logo on Air Force One. Uh, for this, 
not only does a pay freeze apply to him, <laughs> uh, it but uh, we are actually going to dock his pay as well, and he's going to have to fly back commercial. <laughs> now, if you want, you can apologize uh, now. <laughs> Don't do it. Stand strong. Sir, it's really about the Kansas City Royals being the rival of the White Sox.